Hey guys, all right, I'm back and uh, got my pack frame and uh, got everything ready to go. I'm going to show you how how I personally <laughs> um, quarter them out. I'm going to save this hide and uh, probably brain tan it and that. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you how I do this. Again, this might not be the way you do it, and I'm not saying this is the quote unquote exactly that you have to do this all right all you ignorant people out there that gotta have something to say well that's not right or that's not right you know take a hike um sorry <laughs> um um but anyways um this is just how i do it um there's a lot of different ways of doing it but this is just how i do it um also wanted to show you uh, some of you who watch some of my trapping videos might know, remember this, um, these bull, bull pack frames. These things are awesome. Um, nice, nice padding, padded shoulder pads, kidney belt, the whole nine yards. It's got little hooks here, the hook bungee cords, or like I use 550 cord um, to loop through and cinch it down. Um, this is my uh, Wyoming pack saw. This is where uh, your ruck um, hooks on to. These these are these are awesome, awesome pack frames. Um, go check them out. Um, it's www. I'm gonna look at the website here. Uh, www.bullpackpacks.com. Um, and it's p-a-c-s. dot com, right? Yeah. Yeah. P-A-C-S is the, um, it's how it goes. But, uh, these things are awesome. Um, these were made very good. These were made with somebody that knows what they're doing, um, knows, knows about packing. And I've used a lot of different pack frames over my years. And, uh, I know this is a real good one. So, check them out, bullpacks.com. All right. So, I'm going to get everything set up here, get ready to roll, and, uh, I'll be get back with you. All right, guys. So this is my uh, Wyoming pack saw. These things are awesome. Um, I've had this one for a lot of years. Um, comes with two different blades, and you can get replacement blades, meat saw blade and a wood cutting blade. Um, I, I love them. They're great saws for packing and stuff. Um, those of you who might not know, um, I was a professional guide for oh, eight, eight years, nine years, good grief, <laughs> something like that, nine, nine years, somewhere in there, um, and I've used this thing a lot. Um, I used to do pack trips and stuff like that and hunts and all kinds of stuff. So you just put these, this fits together real nice, really, really nice. And then you just take the blade and stick the blade right in there. Now you might ask, what am I using this for? Um, I like to cut my legs off the deer and just take and turn this uh, wing nut here. <laughs> what? Excuse me. <laughs> That's trying to hold that sneeze. That's my hot videographer that I picked up along the way. <laughs> but, I mean, those blades get real tight. Real nice. Um, but uh, what I, what I want to do is, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this without gutting it. Um, just the way you can do it. So, what I'm going to do is I'll start off with it. Blew that front shoulder off. That's why it ran on me. But taking this front shoulder here, uh, you can use a knife to cut around that, but uh, I like the saw better. Just take it. Cut that front leg off. The other front leg. And go to the back legs. Now these back legs, you want to make sure you, there's this tenon back here in the back. You want to make sure you come up above that joint right there. And 
because when you hang your hind quarters up, you need that to hang your meat on. Okay, now gotta get my knife here. And those of you who think that a certain you have to have a certain size knife to do this, um, mm. you don't. Yeah, good point. This thing here, I've gutted and skinned and cleaned a lot of deer, elk, antelope, all kinds of stuff. This is um, the same case knife that my wife used on her video to gut that deer. So. I've used I've used little pocket knives to to gut and skin deer, so it, it doesn't matter. So all right, so now usually I'll take and cut these glands off. Usually do that right away. It's better to do it right away. Um, some people say it draws into the meat. Others say it don't. It, again, there's. I don't think there's any exact way that you have to do something. You know, it's. But there's these glands down in the, the back here that they piss on, and that's what it runs down the leg. But I just come down here, get up underneath that, okay, get up underneath those legs like that. Now I also take and take his balls and his penis and cut that right off of there. There you go. You're gonna get some hair on them. You know, no matter what, you're gonna get hair on them. But if you can keep the most of it off, the better. So then I take and I come right up the leg. Now you can do this with the hair on. If you got a long ways to go and stuff like that and you, you know, are back in the back country somewhere or something, you can take and, uh, leave the hair actually leave the hair on it helps keep the meat from getting dirty and stuff so but I just take come right up the legs I just want to watch that tendon there in the back I just keep skinning on right around the leg come just keep coming right around and once you get the top done I'm gonna do this other side but once you do the top here and I'll show you, you can actually take this and just strip it right down when they're warm like that. You can just pull it right, right down. So, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Get underneath the hide. Try not to get into the meat. Just pull up on the hide a little bit. And then just start skinning around Like I said, you'll do that. Now, I'm going to move up to the front legs. Again, this one's 
shoot, all blown up. Um, he was moving, kind of running at, or moving at a trot when I shot him, and I caught him a little far front. But what I'll do is I'll take and I'll cut down the inside of the um, this front front leg here, and I'll come straight straight across and then I do the same thing on this it's kind of like if you're uh, doing it to uh, for taxidermy similar a little different here you stay back next to that line and come back into it but and just come straight across there Right, meet up with your cut straight and straight across. Now, what I'll do is I'll take and I'll run right down the middle of the deer. And you've got to be careful here that you don't get into the gut. You don't want to do that. I'm going to run this all the way back. Okay, so coming down all the way down through here all right now I got that all going I'm gonna take and also come right up the front now obviously you wouldn't do this for taxidermy but for this I'm going to come right up right up the center of the neck with your cut off but that's okay <laughs> right up to the right up to the base of the chin okay now what I'm gonna do is take and start skinning around this shoulder shooey <laughs> <laughs> yeah buddy I blew that sucker right up Hate doing that, hate wasting meat, but that happens. And you just keep skinning, keep pressure on that that uh, hide and pulling up. Of course, the cleaner you get it now, the less work you have later, too. Yeah. If you're gonna. Used to hide. Yeah. Man, blew that sucker right up. Wow. So you can take and take that hide and pull pull that back. Wow. Look at oh, that. Yay, yay. Man, that really blew that up. All right, now I'm taking. Should have told you this isn't for the faint of heart. <laughs> <laughs> but it's worth knowing how you survive. And I had some comments. Well, there were some comments made on my wife's video that that's that's the man's job. That's what he's got to do. <laughs> and uh that's not a place for a woman and all that crap you know what what happens if something happens to me and I die and she's got to do it to provide for herself what's she gonna do run to Uncle Jim Bob that's several hundred miles away and ask him to do it no there's no reason why a woman can't do it I will agree there's a place for a woman and a place not for a woman but this is proper training and this is survival yep. everyday survival yep i want to know how to do this stuff and i want to teach other women and children how to do this stuff because if you ever get separated too you know when you're out and something happens and you're separated from you know your husband or what have you that you all get separated if you can't Fend for yourself, what are you going to do? You won't survive. You need to be able to eat. But 
and just keep pressure back on on that hide pulling pulling back there's somebody just shot too bad that was the wrong direction the mountain boys the other way <laughs> yep. and you just keep coming right around right the back of the the head behind the ears like and you just keep keep on rolling now if you can take and keep this hide as clean the inside as clean as you can when you go and, and go to do the other side you can roll the deer over on the hide and it'll keep the meat clean so you want to try and keep that as clean as you can There again, just keeping that hide kind of rolled up so you don't get it all. Oh. Now, I just come back to this back leg and skin it out around the top here. Kind of get it down past that. There again, there's that, that um, cartilage and stuff there, that back tenon. You don't want to cut into that. Okay, now you can take it and grab a hold of here and just pull that. There, it kind of come with it on that, some meat, but I can skin that right back down. Keep going right up to his butthole. I nicked the hide. Yeah, well. I'm not going very, really slow here. Try to keep your hide clean. Now I like, you can see here, right there's his backbone, right here. Um, I like to try and skin on down past his backbone down to that other side. Um, because that's less I gotta do when I flip him over. Now, what I'll do is I'll come down here to his tail, and at the base of his tail, you can usually find the joint there I think there it is I gotta wait I might have to wait till I there there I got it but okay so I've got this keep that clean I mean you're gonna get hair and stuff in it but Coming on, a, on around there. OK. 
Okay, now I can take and lay this out like this and I can roll him up and over right like this and I can do the same thing on this side. Um, just skin it right down and over, right around. Um, I'm not gonna go through that. You saw how I did that. Um, if there's any questions, just ask and I'll tell you. Um, but it's the exact same thing you did on the other side. Just skin it all the way around, right down to the back. When I get that skinned around and all the way down, I'll get back with you. So, see you in a little bit.